What's up, Forge Nation? I am with YouTube celebrities, Kevin and Brittany at Lightbright Studios. You guys know them from their awesome Jeep videos and now Bronco videos. But what you may not know is their unbelievable race driving off-road king of the hammers rig. <laughs> uh, we saw them at SEMA and we've been following them for a while and we had to come by, show them the Bronco, but also I had to check this thing out. Uh, so far qualifying, how are you feeling about the track? You said it's longer, it's crazier this year. It is, it's about 30% longer this year than last year and they've added like 13 new rock trails that nobody's driven before, so. It's a lot longer and a lot more grueling for yeah. sure. And are you guys going together the whole yeah. time? Yeah, so I drive, she co-drives. I can't look at a screen and navigate. Like, no. I don't know. She's used to it because she edits while I drive our own trails, so I guess she's used to staring at the screen. We, we're both great drivers, but he has a level of driving intuition that is just insane. And I, I'm not afraid to admit that I don't have. But on top of that, I'm a really great navigator. He is not, and in order to cross the finish line, you have to find the finish line. Yeah. So we played our strengths. So I have a little bit of ADD, and I just kind of zone out and be like, oh, you're supposed to turn back there. <laughs> like, <whoops. laughs> Yeah, we got lost a couple times last night already. So yeah. <laughs> I, I can't imagine what it's like going 80, 90, 100 miles an hour uh, yeah, pulling this the thing. the desert in the dust, can't see. Now, what's yeah. the top speed you're getting on this? Uh, we do about 115 on the flat, um, but you got to think like, 40 inch tires, bead locks, full hydro steering, yeah. solid front and rear axles with spooled Ooh. front rear axle. Yeah. So it's locked front to rear, left to right, 100% of the time. There's so it's not exactly. There's it, about a 35% like drivetrain <laughs> loss yeah, between the engine between and power to the ground. Uh, how sore are you guys after the race it's day? It's pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. It's like a, it's like, I mean, depending on when you finish, uh, but it's like an all day car wreck. Like yeah. if someone put you in like a washing machine or a dryer and then kicked you <laughs> off a mountain, Oh, like about the same. Yeah, yeah I don't know great. why. I don't know I why it's so much fun. <laughs> I, you know, it, it's just one of those things to test yourself. You know, yeah. I don't know. Like people climb Mount Everest. Like I'd never do it, yeah. but it's one of those personal challenges. Yeah. And this is something that I think we can do. And it's. Well, this is the awesome. ultimate off-road race. Right. King yeah. of the hammers. Yeah. King of the everything. Single off-road race in the world. Yeah. Yep. It's awesome. Well, I love it. Uh, we're gonna watch you guys tomorrow. We brought Apollo, our Bronco. You guys yeah. are building your Bronco right now. I wanted yep. to get your honest feedback and opinion on it. As everyone watching, you guys probably have seen our Ford Bronco that we're giving away. Uh, they saw it at SEMA. They haven't yep. seen it since we put some other modifications on it. So let's let's check out this bad boy. Okay. Yeah. I'll be honest, you'll hurt my feelings if you say anything negative, but <laughs> it's fine. So what do you think? Apollo and all his glory, advanced fiberglass, worn, Oracle lights, rigid, head to toe, one of the most dialed rigs that we've ever built. Yeah. But from the experts, what do you guys think? The wide body. Yeah, of course, that looks sick. Sick. I mean, yeah. that's something I know for a fact that we absolutely want to do with our a Bronco. Bit wider. I want to go but wider. I think but we, we even want to yeah. go wider. Like, we want to go big. <laughs> but it looks really good with the, the wide body no, fenders. It's, it's, honestly, it's very tasteful. It does what this was meant to do. Yeah. Um, these aren't made to do extreme hardcore rock crawling, right? Yeah. It's, it's made to be comfortable. These are comfortable. Um, I, 37s look great on it. You have the wide body, what a four inch lift you said, yeah. which fits this thing perfectly. Like you see this going down the road, it has a presence yeah. and it looks good. It looks proportional, it doesn't look yeah. funky. And know, that's like really what we were funky. trying to do. I wanted to put 40s on it, but no. Todd, <laughs> Todd said I couldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> we have a mutual friend, Todd Holsworth at Deutsch Off Road. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously legendary Jeep builders that are getting into Bronco builds. They had their hands on this first and literally took it to all of our sponsors to get this thing built out so shout out to them yeah he's it's a great guy. dude it's super sick and honestly like i said we our angle for our bronco build is we want it to be like this baja monster we have a we jeep a wrangler 40s yeah. long arm hemi all that stuff that we do all of our extreme rock crawling with but the one type of vehicle we don't have is like a baja build and this is yeah. definitely right. it's heading in that direction yeah. without getting you know too extreme Oh, day. somebody's they getting a hell of a, oh, somebody's yeah. getting a hell of a vehicle here. So yeah, I've been saying this in a lot of like our ads and videos is like, you can't build a Bronco like this today. There's a lot of parts that you just can't even get because no. it was built for spec for SEMA, which yeah. is like, is cool. And the fact that one of you guys could own it is, I don't know. We got our Bronco and when, before we picked it up, we came up with the idea of giving our Bronco away and then we drove it. And I was just like, I don't want to give this away. And then like, we don't, now we don't want to give it away. So. <laughs> It's kind of cool. With the dealer markups and just inventory issues and not being able it to It took us forever to get it. Yeah. yeah. And we so, were on a priority list. Hey, we didn't get it. <laughs> we were not a priority. 
Hey, well, you got it now. I'm going to be really excited to see what you guys end up doing. Oh, it. Ours gonna be, it's going to be, it's gonna be next. It, by the time it's done, it'll be a crazy I saw the stepchild over there. Is he jealous? Is that... Is it literally the redheaded stepchild now? It is, yeah. <laughs> we beat it like a redheaded stepchild. That's where the stepchild name nice. comes from. So. Love it. It's all good. <laughs> all right. If you guys have been living under a rock for the past five years and don't know who Lightbright Studios is, go check them out on YouTube. We'll leave a link in the description below. Appreciate you guys. It's going to be fun to watch you tomorrow. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Good luck. Appreciate Drive it. safe. Perfect. Let's Thanks, go. Guys. We got to go Chocolate Thunder now. What a better way to finish the weekend than the iconic Chocolate Thunder, part of the race course that they close down once the sun goes down and open it up to the public. And thousands of onlookers cheering them on. It's gonna be a lot of fun. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It helps us get motivated to produce more content and we're gonna be giving away a lot of free stuff to our subscribers. So make sure you come back and check out the next video by Forge 4x4.